everyone welcome officially to the start of our next honeymoon travel series vlog this time we are in Canada more specifically we are in Vancouver today is the 9th of April it's Tuesday we actually arrived in Vancouver last night but we're staying with some family friends that I've pretty much known like my whole entire life so last night we were just catching up with them and then we went to a few breweries had a few drinks now we are just making the journey into town I feel like it's about a 40 minute walk from um, where we're staying and today's plan is to go to the Capilano suspension bridge this morning and luckily they have free buses um, to and from like the center of Vancouver to Capilano that run every like 15 minutes or so so that is our plan for this morning and then to be honest we're probably just going to spend all afternoon at all of the various craft breweries that are around Vancouver This is insanely beautiful. If you were ever coming to Vancouver, I would definitely recommend getting a ticket to the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park because, like, this is just beautiful. As well as being able to go over the suspension bridge, um, there is also like a treetop walk, which is what we're doing now. So you're walking through all these little like little suspension bridges and these little platforms all around the trees. Then there's also a cliff walk, which is on the other side of the suspension bridge. So we're going to go and do that next. But man, this is only maybe like 45 minutes out of um, Vancouver City, and it's so worth it. I can't remember how much we paid for our tickets. I'll chuck it on the screen right here. But yeah, definitely worth a visit I think for our whole honeymoon so far this is definitely my favorite thing that we've done back into town and we uh, walked around a few of the shops and then we went down to uh, the waterfront and had a little bit of a look around there and then we have just gotten the bus to kind of the area where all the breweries are and we're gonna do a little bit of a brewery tour um, the first one we're going to is called Storm it's apparently like the oldest brewery in Vancouver but it's also I guess the strangest one in terms of you don't actually pay for the beer or pay for the tastings, but you just have to make a donation. So I think that's how they're getting away with some stuff. But yeah, it should be pretty fun. It is Wednesday the 10th of April and we picked up our rental car this morning because tomorrow we are driving to Banff. But we decided to pick the car up a little bit early. Um, and today we're actually gonna go to Whistler for the day because I think if we'd had longer in Canada, going to Whistler and doing some snowboarding or something that uh, Nick really wanted to do because he's a snowboarder. So we figured that we might as well at least just go and check it out to say that we've been there. It's kind of buzzy. The car that they've given us um, at the rental car company is a Nissan Frontier, which back in New Zealand is the same as a Nissan Navara, which is the car that we have. So it's real trippy like sitting in the passenger seat at the front but feeling like I should have the steering wheel and I think for Nick as well he's kind of like I'm on the wrong side of the car but he's doing very good driving on the other side of the road and like remembering to keep right rather than keep left um but yeah I think we're like maybe an hour and a half away from Whistler we've kind of only just left it's like an hour 50 away anyway um but yeah some people have told us the cool things to do like along the way once we get to Whistler so even though it's raining and it's a little bit cold I think it's going to be a fun day
bit of a look around Whistler, but unfortunately the weather wasn't the best, um, so we didn't want to be outside for too long. We are on our way back to Vancouver, but we have just stopped at Brandywine Falls, which is a waterfall that we were told that we should go and check out because it's amazing, and I'm so glad we did because it literally was so amazing to see something like that. Like, we just don't have that kind of nature in New Zealand. Uh, and now I think we're going to go to Squamish, I think is how you're saying it. Um, they have like a sea to sky gondola and apparently like a bunch of other nice views as well. So we figured we may as well go and check that out on our way back uh, as well. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to Squamish. I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, and it's pretty foggy here, so we've decided not to go on the sea to sky gondola because we didn't actually know if we we're going to be able to see anything once we got to the top. And when we get to Bamp, we're going to go um, up a gondola anyway. But instead, we've just walked to Shannon Falls, which is kind of like another um, massive waterfall that, if you're in the area, is definitely worth coming to visit. It's just like insane. I actually don't have words to describe what it's like. It's just so beautiful and so cool. So we just had our first Best Buy uh, experience. I needed a SD card because I bought a couple SD cards with me for this trip because I didn't bring my laptop with me and I was just planning on editing all the videos for my honeymoon series when I got home but some of the SD cards that I bought for whatever reason like they're not um, compatible with my camera and they like weren't working so I needed a new SD card. Um, Nick also picked one up for his phone because they're so much cheaper here than they are back home and then we were also walking past like the kitchen series or like section and we saw this which is like a KitchenAid attachment that's essentially like just a mixer but it has like uh, almost like a spatula on the side of it I don't know if you can see that but this grey thing just here so we bought that as well because I've never actually seen this available in New Zealand but judging by the price difference of like the KitchenAids back home versus the KitchenAids here if we could get this at home it would be ridiculously expensive so bit of a weird combination of purchases but there you go um now i think we're going to head back to our friend's house it's 4 44 um i think we're going to go out for dinner tonight so i guess we'll see uh what happens next okay so it is now thursday it's just gone 7 a.m and we are already on the way we're just filling up um at a gas station in vancouver before we make the drive to banff the way that we're going i think it's like a nine and a half hour drive but we'll most likely be stopping at various different places along the way because we want to see like the sites of Canada which is why we decided to make the drive and not fly um, and I'm pretty sure there's also a time difference from going between like provinces in Canada so I can't remember where that one is but yeah it should be a long drive but hopefully a good drive um, I'll show you some sites along the way and I'll probably check in when we get to Banff We have made it to Banff and it is snowing which is super exciting. Um, all we've seen so far is like a little bit of the town as we're driving to our hotel but it looks really cool. So right now the time is 6.30 so when we crossed into Alberta which is the province that Banff is in um, the clocks went forward an hour so uh, yeah, we've kind of like lost an hour of our day but yeah at 6.30 we've already made our hotel room incredibly messy as you can see um, because we are just going to put on some warmer clothes and head out for a bit of dinner because it's pretty cold outside but yeah I'm looking forward to exploring Banff for the next uh, couple of days. Look how cool this is! It's snowing! Oh, <laughs> that piece went in my eye. Last night when we got onto Banff we pretty much went straight out again and found some dinner because we hadn't really eaten all day because we'd been traveling so we hadn't really been hungry. Um, so we went and got some delicious steak and then um, the hotel we're staying at which is called the Banff Aspen lodge I'm pretty sure um or the Aspen Banff Lodge something like that um they had a sauna and a steam room and a spa pool so we made the most of those facilities which was really cool because it was like snowing outside as well 
Um, and now it is the next day, it is Friday, it is currently negative two degrees, so it's a little bit chilly. Um, we have just had breakfast at our hotel, we're just filling up with petrol, and then we're going to head to the Banff National Park and do a couple of the walks. First of all, we do need to go and buy a pass for the National Park. I think the lady at our hotel said, because there's only two of us and we're only going to be there today it's only going to be about like five or ten dollars for the pass which is pretty good um and you can get away with not having a pass but then you can also get like a ticket so we don't obviously want to get a ticket um so we're going to go and buy one of those passes before we go also want to find out exactly what trails we can do that are open because technically it's still like the winter season in Banff I think until the end of April so I have a feeling because there's still snow on the ground everywhere and because it was snowing yesterday um probably some of the trails and things that we want to do won't exactly be the safest so we'll go and figure all that out then we have a few plans for the rest of the day as well but i will just show you them when we're doing them rather than just chatting about them now ones that we're at just before were the lower falls this is what it looks like so at the moment as you can see the majority of the waterfall is frozen other than like this little piece in here which is kind of insane i've never seen like a massive frozen waterfall like that so yeah pretty cool this took us like well it says it takes an hour to get to this part from the car park where we were but because the ground was so slippery i reckon it probably took us maybe like an hour 15 because even though we both have tims on timberland boots um I like trip over the rest of time so we're going definitely very careful in the snow and I think going back is probably going to take us a bit longer but yeah definitely worth a visit if you're ever in Banff. Okay we made it back to the car in one piece, I didn't trip over, I'm very proud of myself. Uh, now we're on our way to our second location which is Louise Lakes but we've just stopped on the side of the road because look at this insane view, it's like mountains for days it's so gorgeous okay so this is lake louise right here you can see it's all like frozen to the point that people are walking on it which is a little bit scary but how insane is that we've walked to like the middle of the lake this is so insane <laughs> okay i really don't know if you can tell hopefully you can on my black jumper but it's also just started snowing this is so cool literally and figuratively so the time is now just gone five o'clock and we are on our way to the Banff gondola it's about like a 10 12 minute drive from here which is pretty good um we wanted to go at like this kind of time like five o'clock 5 30 ish so that we could see it in the daytime but then also we could be like up the top when the sun kind of starts to set and then we could see like um you know like Banff from night as well and luckily tickets to the gondola i think it's after like 4 30 or 5 o'clock are 15 dollars cheaper so that worked out pretty well um we were also going to have like a fancy dinner while we're up there as well just to kind of like you know we're on our honeymoon we can splash out a little bit because we've been pretty good so far with our budgeting for this trip but we only had lunch at like two o'clock today i want to say um because we were like too busy exploring so neither of us are really that hungry so we'll see what happens there we were also planning on taking a trip um to the Banff hot springs as well because they seem pretty cheap to get into and we thought it might be kind of fun but both of us are quite tired and we have to get up at like 4 30 in the morning tomorrow so we might not do that because we kind of want um our togs to be dry for when we travel so i think after um the gondola we're probably just going to come home and start to pack up and get an early night ahead of our very early start tomorrow but we'll see what happens we also do have the um like hot tubs whatever you want to call them at uh, our hotel as well so we could always just go on them if we felt like it so we're at the base and you go all the way up there
that green building way down there is where we hopped on the gondola and it took us to this building here and there's a cool little path that we've just walked down uh, to get to this point which is Sanson Peak and it is the tallest peak of Sulphur Mountain it has some pretty cool views you can literally see mountains for days there's Banff Town you can see another frozen lake just there frozen little river so cool up here that gondola was so cool I'm so glad we did that as you saw it started snowing while we we're up there for a bit it was just like such cool views definitely recommend if you're ever in Banff um, now the time is already like 7 15 so we've decided we're not going to go to the hot pools we probably won't even bother to um, use the spas here just because as you can see we have like all of this mess to pack up and as I said we have a really early start tomorrow um, so we're just going to head out and have a quick dinner uh, and then come back and start to pack up which I really don't want to do because I really love it here and I don't really want to leave even though we're going to New York which is also one of my favorite places but yeah okay it is now 8 42 we are home from dinner and we just need to start um packing up and getting everything ready now um but i also think i'm gonna end my canada vlog here because as i said we have to get up at like four o'clock 4 30 tomorrow morning and i'm definitely not going to be in any state to want to vlog and like say goodbye to this vlog so i'm gonna do it now um i really hope you guys have enjoyed exploring canada with me this has been i think like the most amazing first time in Canada. I've absolutely loved it. So has Nick. We cannot wait to come back. We've already talked about coming back to Banff in the summertime to doing a few more of the walks um, and then also just exploring more of Canada because it's very quickly become one of our all-time favorite countries. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed seeing it through the vlog. Tomorrow we are heading to New York so keep an eye out for that vlog that will be coming next week. Uh, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later on. Bye! Thank you.